those get to be near me is kind of windy up here, but I have arrived in St. Louis to see Beyonce yet again on Monday, but it's Saturday, and I just arrived from Atlanta, and now I'm about to take the Metrolink from the airport into downtown. It was only $5 for, for a full day fare, so come along with me as we enjoy St. Louis. I am now riding the Metrolink. I got on at Terminal 2, which took a little bit over 30 minutes to get from Terminal 2 to 8th and Pine Street in downtown St. Louis, and I went through 14 stops. The train also stops at Terminal 1, which was before I got on, so you won't see that here. It was a great way to get into the city. It was cheap as well as good for the environment. So I'm getting off here at 8th and Pine Street, and I will tell you a little bit more about the Metrolink in just a moment. But please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell it is free for you to do so and it helps me provide more and better content to you in the future. So I just got off the Metro Link and I'm walking to my hotel. It's like a six minute walk from the Metro Link station or at least where I exited the Metro Link. But um, I bought the ticket because it's like, oh, buy your ticket to get on the train. And I never scanned it or showed it to anyone. But if I look at the other stations, there was scanners when you got on. So, and I've heard that they have like Metro security or whatever come on sometimes. So still get your ticket. I have now arrived at the Pennywell Hotel downtown and my room wasn't ready yet. So I freshened up and headed over to lunch. You can see more of the Pennywell Hotel in a tour video that I have already up on YouTube, which I'll have linked down below. As you can see, this is some of the lobby and the restaurant area. So let's head to lunch. All right, so of course, you know, like I said, my room's not ready. So I am headed to lunch at Prime 55 downtown. It is black owned. I think there's two locations, but the closest one to me is just a 10 minute walk around from the hotel. So let's head over for lunch. So now we're gonna have lunch at Prime 55, which is located in the Le Meridian Hotel. When I got there, I said, please wait to be seated. And no one ever came to try to help me be seated. So I ended up sitting at the bar. So that should have been a sign there. I did end up getting the STL Prime Burger, which I'm glad that it also came in turkey meat because I do not eat beef. And I really did enjoy the meal. I did eat every bit of the meal, but the problem came when it was time to pay. I tried to pay with my Amex as well as my Visa credit cards and they were both declined. And they actually looked at me like, hey, you don't have money, disgrace. Come to find out when she slammed the receipt down saying that I couldn't afford the meal, they were having a server connection error. So it took me a whole hour to try to pay $16. They actually wanted me to go to the ATM to get money out, which would have caused fees. It was ridiculous. You need $16 that bad? Don't eat there, y'all. It was good, but don't, don't do the struggle for yourself. Now that my room is ready, let me head back to the hotel, get out of these airplane clothes, and continue on my day in St. Louis. Okay, so I just came off the tram ride at the Art. And they say it's 45 minutes to an hour, but it's not 45 minutes an hour on the tram. So you really are in queue most of the time. So like you get a ticket, you get a time, and then you go through security, and then you go through and get in queue at the tram. Then once you get in that queue, then you get like assignment to a car. Then you learn about some history before getting on the tram. Then you wait again for the tram. And then you can't take videos. They don't want you to like getting in and out of the tram because the doorways is only four feet, 10 inches tall. So pretty much everyone has to duck to get on the tram and you can't stand up really in the tram. It's either for five people. It is very tight up in there. Like if you're claustrophobic, you're not going to make it because I was like, what in the world is this? But it's only five to seven minutes up, five to seven minutes down on the tram. You don't see anything except like the inner workings of the art and like the stairway there's nothing to see there's no outside and there's this very little window once you get to the top 
you're only up there 10 minutes to see outside you can see the illinois side the mississippi river and the st louis side or missouri side so glad it was only like 16 dollars i had a slight discount i think because i'm going on the river cruise but um, i'll leave the price down below so once you finish looking around they will call you to line up for the tram and you will board a tram to go back down in another five to seven minutes and one thing about the tram there are stairs to go up and down from the tram so if you are not that physical you may have a hard time using that but once you go back down you'll go back to the same place where you boarded the tram and you can go to the gift shop you can have food or you can just exit the the st louis arch so now i'm outside enjoying the view of the arch Oh, and also Saturdays, um, I was told, is the busiest day. So if you want to go a specific time on Saturday, you may want to get your ticket online or come here earlier to get your ticket because they could be sold out or you have to go at a time that's not convenient for you. So keep that in mind. My whole experience did take me probably about 45 minutes to go up and come back down. Okay, now it's time for River Cruise. My cruise leaves at 7.30 and it says it'd be there at 7.15, so time to walk over. To board the river cruise, you will head down to the river, which is right below the St. Louis Arch at Gateway Arch River Boats. The Skyline Dinner Cruise departs at 7.30 p.m., but it started boarding at 7 p.m., even though I believe they told me to be there by 7.15. Once you board, you will show your ticket to get on. You will stand in line to take a photo that you would have to purchase if you would like. And then you give your name so they can tell you where you're sitting at on the boat. Once you get to your table, you can confirm it is your table because your name will be on the card on the table. Once you get there, a salad will be waiting for you. The salad was pretty decent, yet a fruit fly ended up getting in my salad and burying itself in there. And I was through with it at that point. And also there was a basket of dinner rolls on the table. Now, if you do want an alcoholic drink, your waitress or waiter will not be able to bring it to you. You will have to go up to the bar and purchase it yourself. Otherwise, they can supply you with water at your table and I believe like maybe some sweet tea or something like that. Also, the boat does have a DJ, so you'll hear music, which I'm singing along to at this moment here and having a great old time. And then your meal will come out. Your meal is selected when you purchase your ticket and I selected the chicken meal, which was a mistake because the chicken should be smothered and it's just like, it's like there's gravy poured on top of it. And the chicken was tough yet easy to cut. It was very weird, but luckily the mashed potatoes and the green beans were good. You also are able to go up on the top deck to enjoy the views of St. Louis and the sunset if you would like. This is what I did after I finished my meal. I took my glass of wine up there and enjoyed the views. But I do really appreciate that the cruise line actually gave you your food as soon as you boarded the boat so you can actually enjoy the sunset. And there's also a lot of windows on the boat so you can still see the sunset even if you're eating or drinking inside of the boat. The river cruise actually lasts for two hours for dinner. So you're able to enjoy dinner, enjoy the sunset and enjoy some entertainment. And also the river cruise is $59 for adults, including a $4 convenience fee, making it $63. For children it is $25 and for infants from zero to two, it is free, but they still must have a ticket. So after I enjoyed the views at the top, which you'll see here, I am up here having a good time. It was very windy up here, by the way. I'm, probably was just that day. It was very windy. So be cautious with your skirts and dresses, ladies. But anyway, so after I enjoyed my time up on the top deck, I went back down to get my dessert, which was a strawberry cheesecake. It was more like a strawberry glaze. It did not have fresh strawberries on it, but it was pretty decent. I enjoyed it. And then the DJ was really lighting up the dance floor, taking requests for songs, doing line dances and all types of stuff to really get people engaged out on the dance floor. So it was a really good time. And afterwards we docked back at the same place and left the river cruise. All right, Explorers, so I'm back in my hotel room. I've, the boat cruise was pretty decent. If I lived here or ever come back here, I would definitely go on it again. I would try a different meal. I saw someone near me who had veggies and pasta. That looked way better than that chicken. They also tried to sell um, photos 
that you took up on getting on the boat, which I hate the fact that, and this happened at the art too, that they take the photo in front of the boat, which is what I would have preferred, but then they take the photo and then they put you on this background, fake backgrounds. Like I don't want that photo in front of the ark because I know I wasn't there. I can do that type of stuff at home if I want to do some artificial stuff. I don't want that. I want the real me in front of the real boat for memories, not a fake background. So I didn't get that. And it was like, you got printed photos, which I don't want, I want digital, for $35. I think it was two or three, $35, ridiculous. So as you can see, I am ready for bed. I'm back in my hotel room and we'll see what's in store for tomorrow. All right, explorers, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like button, leave a question or comment down below in the comment box, hit the subscribe button and notification bell for free, share this video with your friends, family, and social media networks, and hit that thanks button to leave me a little tip. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day or night wherever in the world you are. Bye.